Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates. The first one is, well, I gotta say, it's, it's a little bit of drama. If you are one of those people who don't like the drama, you can just click on the timestamps and move on to the next topic, but if you wanna hear about this, stay here. So, it's about uh, Antoine Voyant, who was with HD Muscle Supplement Company, for a really, really long time. And I'm showing you this photo because when an athlete changes a sponsor, it really shouldn't be a big deal. Like, uh, maybe somebody else offered them something better and they moved on. Maybe the contract expired, the, the sponsor didn't like what they were bringing to the table and so on, and, you know, they parted ways, it happens. But this situation is a lot different. Why? Because it seemed like Antoine was basically a part of the family, you know, those guys seemed like they were, like, really close friends, and here is a photo with Dorian Hamilton, who I believe is the CEO of this company, his brother, Noah Hamilton, there are their wives, who I believe are also part of the company, and I think those two people on the left, I'm not sure who they are, but I think they're also a part of the company, so yeah, it's like uh, six people are owning the company, but I believe Dorian Hamilton is the CEO and the founder of this company, I'm not sure about this, but I think that's the way it is, and I felt like it was like that, he was basically the one who was really representing the company, who really was the face of it so far, and uh, here in the caption he says, also Antoine is in this photo, with these people here, you know, and the Dorian says here, real ones, when you find them, hold them close, and there is a whole bunch of other photos similar to this one, and I know what Anton was saying in his podcast, and Dorian as well, these guys literally were like a family, and also Dorian is uh, Antoine's coach, for, <laughs> since ever, I don't know for how long, like for 10 years or so, and Anton is a part of the company since the beginning, so, Apparently, somebody decided to fire Antoine, and I mean literally fire him, I think that's exactly the way this happened, it's not like they disagreed on something and they uh, both decided to part ways, it's not like it was mutual, they actually fired him, so he made this post in which he says, hey guys, as of yesterday, I'm no longer with HD Muscle, and then interestingly he says, it wasn't a decision made by Dorian or Mariah, that's Dorian's wife, I'm still friends with them, and I consider them family. Hmm. Then he adds, also my charity event, the Pure Muscle Summer Fest, has been cancelled, unfortunately, not my choice. Sorry to everyone who was looking forward to it. Thank you to all my supporters over the years, do not worry, I'm just getting started, never finished. So yeah, it seemed like they fired him, and they cancelled his charity event. I mean, what the hell did happen here? I read through comments, and there is a lot of interesting ones made by uh, Antoine, so for example this one, my charity event being shut down out of spite is the only thing that is upsetting in my opinion, wow, so somebody shut down his charity event out of spite, what the hell is happening here? I mean, right now, I don't have all the information, unfortunately, he didn't really share all the details, but he also is out of the HD Muscle podcast, which he, Anton, was the host of, so I don't know how is that gonna work out now, who's gonna be the host from now on, who's gonna edit the videos and do all the work behind the camera, I don't know, but uh, he's gonna start his own podcast, another one, and he says a new episode is gonna be up in like two weeks, or, or, or next week, I'm not sure, but uh, he's gonna explain, I, I guess, I hope he's gonna explain what exactly happened, who fired him out of spite, was it Noah Hamilton, was it this other guy, the third guy, uh, was it their wives, I don't know, but I guess it was something personal, something happened between these guys and they fired Anton, and apparently it wasn't Dorian's decision, or Mariah's, so it's uh, one of the other two couples, but it's really weird that uh, Dorian could not have prevented this, so I guess it was probably the majority of the owners who wanted Antoine out. What for? What was the reason? I'm really curious what exactly happened here, why they fired him, why they cancelled his freaking charity event, and why would you cancel a charity event? Even if they fired him, they should have let him do the charity event, I mean, I don't know. 
I don't know, very weird, uh, I don't have all the information right now, but if I find out anything, I'm gonna make a new video about it, so guys, if you wanna hear the rest of the story, stay tuned, subscribe, and uh, watch the next video about this. And if you happen to have any more information, feel free to tell us down below in the comment section, and also, if you guys have any opinions on this, any ideas, maybe something like that, also, comment down below. Alright, the next uh, update is from our 2019 Mr. Olympia, Brandon Curry, who recently started his uh, prep for the Mr. Olympia. Right now he's 10 weeks out and he posted this video of himself training. And uh, I gotta say, you know, he does look like he, he is growing back into his old shape very quickly. You know, his conditioning is getting better and he's getting back that fullness and roundness. And he's in Kuwait... He's prepping from over there, no longer coached by Abdullah, but he has a new team, basically also the team from Kuwait, from the oxygen gym, and uh, here he tags them. So it's basically a couple of people. He says he's making steady progress every week here at the oxygen gym under the eyes of Ahmad Al-Naki and Amir Abdullah, and also Andy Crawford, who, was, who has joined the squad. So I'm assuming... One of them is, you know, the nutritionist, the coach, one of them is a trainer, and maybe one of them is a opposing coach, I'm not sure. But basically, as you can see, he has a new team without Abdullah al Taibi, and uh, he's in Kuwait, so he's prepping right now. He started the prep very, very late without updating Abdullah at all during the off-season, so it seems like he was very irresponsible this entire uh, past year. And as you guys know, that's why Abdullah stopped working with Brandon. And the question now is, can Brandon really get in his old shape in 10 weeks? Can he still be a top guy? I mean, he was fourth last year. Where will he place this year? Look, I mean, he might pull a Levron. You guys know how Kevin used to do things back in the day. He was basically prepping for, for four months before the Mr. Olympia. And that was it. Like, the rest of the year, he wasn't eating regularly. He wasn't training at all. He wasn't doing any, any supplements. And four months was enough for Kevin to get back in his old size and, and shape and conditioning and everything. Yeah, he probably wasn't making a lot of progress. Uh, his legs uh, kind of stagnated or got even worse. And he definitely would have done better if he was committed the entire year. But he didn't feel like it. And if Brandon doesn't feel like it, then, you know, if he doesn't enjoy doing bodybuilding, then, yeah, I guess this is the best approach for him in this part of his life with his mindset the way it is. Now, can he really get back into his old shape? Well, I believe he can. I believe he'll still be good enough to be in the top six. Where in the top six can he land? Can he be top four again? I don't know. I, I don't think so, honestly. Because last year it was extremely close between him and Andrew Jack and Handel Labrada. Those three guys could have switched places and nobody would have a problem with that, I'm pretty sure. So this year it seems like Andrew made a ton of progress and Hunter did as well. And Nick Walker is coming back. And there are guys like Martin Fitzwater and other guys who are also very good. So Brandon needs to be like 100%. To be in that top four again, really. Can he pull that? I don't know, because I mean it's it's the matter of details at this point. If he's not what he was last year, which is very possible to be the case. I mean, yeah, last year he was in the hospital the day before, so he didn't peak right, but this year he had no off season, so I don't imagine him being at his 100%, but with his shape, with his roundness, with his uh, size and everything, I mean, he won the Mr. Olympia five years ago, and he's still very close, at least last year, he was very close to what he looked like in 2019, so, you know, still I can definitely see him in that top six mix, but, oof, I don't know, Andrew Jack, Hunter Labrada, Nick Walker, I'm pretty sure all those guys are gonna surpass him this year, but we'll see. If they don't, Brandon is going to surprise me, for sure. And finally, we got a physique update from Hunter Labrada, who just did a guest posing. And he's like uh, five or like four weeks, I think four weeks out of Italy Pro. And uh, here is what he looks like. So this is what I'm talking about. He seems like he made progress from last year. I wouldn't say it's a ton of progress. He looks pretty similar, but you can notice some details. Like, I think his back is a bit more filled out, like it has more details. And again, this is still like four or five weeks out. He has enough time to get in shape. And once he's really shredded, you're going to see the difference. 
uh, especially in the back, in my opinion. And I think everything else is also like slightly better. And in the end, it's gonna come down to how well he peaks for the show. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's gonna win uh, the, the Italy Pro against Nexilla, but as far as the Mr. Olympia, he kinda has trouble peaking for that show, so we'll see, and like how, how, how good his midsection control is gonna be. But this guy can't be overlooked, I mean, he was 6th uh, last year, top 6 at a Mr. Olympia, that's, that's pretty big, guys, and he was 4th at a Mr. Olympia at one point, so if he comes a little bit more improved, and like with a really good conditioning and a really good peak, which again is an issue of his, like he's very inconsistent, like one show he's on, the next show he's slightly off, and the next show he's completely off and stuff like that, so if he's consistent, if he really brings it, like for the Italy Pro and if he does the UK, I think he's not gonna do the UK, I think he's only doing, doing the Italy Pro, but it depends on whether he wins or not, I guess, and then if, he, if he's able to do only Italy Pro and peaks well for that show and then comes to Mr. Olympia, peaked even better or the same, then, I don't know, I, I can see him beating Brandon Curry. But I don't know, whatever you guys think, tell me down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this about bodybuilding, guys, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon, all the best, and bye-bye.